Martins, Anthony coming to you again from Floriology. Uh, we're working on some design inspirations for the NAPCO catalog. The design that I'm going to work with right now is a little bit of a woodsy design. Um, NAPCO has these really great uh, faux birch branches, um, a really, really pretty box here. Um, looks like a drawer. Love the look of this. So this design is going to be a little bit woodsy. It's going to be a little dramatic. I'm going to work with some ilex berries. Very few fresh flowers. I'm going to work with some uh, really pretty evergreens and some pine cones. So I'm going to get started just to give a little idea. I want to make this design really nice and bold. So we're going to just begin by inserting some height here. So bear with me as we go. I want to really make this get a really fun woodsy appeal to it. These are really awesome sticks. I love them. And in reality, they're actually PVC. So that's really a fun twist to them. So we're going to get those in there nice and secure. You would think that they were really heavy. Um, but the funny part being PVC, they're not heavy. But the texture onto them, when you really look at them, they truly look like they're birch. So I enjoy that part here. So let's get the last one in here. So they come in uh, groups of three. So I've taken two of them. So I have six of them going right here. So I'm just getting a nice, strong appeal here. I really want this great woodsy appeal. So let's come back in, have some ilex berries. And it's just about having that touch into it. Love these ilex berries. They're really pretty. All right. This is where I want to bring in some pine. I love this pine look for this appeal. Um, when it comes to this type of design, this woodsy look, you know, when you think of going out in the woods, pine is a pretty popular thing. So I want to get some pine as a really nice heavy base. Keep in mind, this is my major fresh product, is the evergreen. So I'm going to literally encompass around here. Proportionately, you want to make sure that your greens come out big enough to help with that weight because the height here, um, even though they're not heavy, visually they look really, really heavy. So let's just get going here. And then what we'll do is we'll come back in with some other evergreens to help with the texture of it. I'm going to work with some natural uh, pine cones into it. All right. So far, it actually looks really great the way it is on my side. So let's get it all finished out. I have about, um, if you count the full stems, there's probably a, I have some breaks in here. So I would say there's probably about four stems total of the pine if they were full stems. But cutting them to keep them down gives me a whole lot more to work with. So, all right. Now, as, as we know, I, I love to work with the cedar, so I'm going to bring cedar into it as well. Let's get this back side here. Got a few pieces. Don't ever leave your pieces laying. If you do, use them into another design. But the good part is, you know, if they have to go down a little bit lower, that just gives you a little bit more depth into the design. All right. Bring in a little bit of cedar. So, we also want to make sure that when we're putting in these layers of greenery, like I've said before, that they actually are part of the design. This one here is my focus with the greenery instead of the fresh flowers. So I want to be sure that they really give us that uh, design look to them. Okay. So I have gotten approximately, looks like six pine cones here. Um, these pine cones are all about the same size. Um, they're not picked. So the, fun, the good thing about non-picked is you can use them in a lot of different ways. They're easy to glue compared to picked ones. But in this case, I kind of needed the picked ones. So I'm going to use the longer picks here, the wire picks. Simple to do. Takes two seconds. Let's put them in. Wrap them around the bottom. Tight. We're good. So I want to bring in my pine cones down into it. Keep in mind, 
making sure that everything is nice and secure. The picks will swell into the, into the foam when they get wet, so that's easy. They're not gonna go anywhere, nice and secure. So I've got a couple on this side. I wanna bring some more around. A lot of times working with the natural elements as your main focus in a design really gives a nice uh, organic appeal to it. Very popular. So it's not always about how much flowers that you work with into it. Okay, let's turn it around where it's not giving me as much trouble. Okay. So I'm just clustering the pine cones in here. They also do take up some surface area. So if you know, as you started greening, you might have a little bit of spaces there, but it's okay because those will cover that up. And this will be our last one in here. Kind of like the idea of them just kind of laying at the bottom of the, the forest there. Looks pretty. All right, so pretty simple foundation, already a little dramatic. Looks really pretty. So I'm gonna come in with just a little bit of fresh floral product. Um, love the peppermint carnations for Christmas time. So I'm going to pop these open. So the good part of this is with the white of the birch, the red of the ilex berries, you have a little bit of the contrast here with the peppermint carnations. So I'm gonna put those in a little close and tight to our birch. So I really wanna draw that red and the white of the birch down. This is bringing interest down into the design itself. So I'm clustering three together here on each side. So we're going through this way. Pine cones are here. Kind of nice little line going. Okay. Now I'm going to go back in with just a little bit of our noble here just to give that extra texture. And we're almost at the finish point already. So I'm bringing this just popping out from where the carnations have been inserted because it's going to draw us right into there. And a lot of you will take strippers and do it. My fingers do great with strippers. So this time of year, I always like the feeling on the sap. It's just getting it off. That's the hard part. All right. So we're just about there already. Now I have one little stem of ilex berries that was broke off here. Again, no piece is trash. Every piece is worth something. So we're gonna just come right back in at the front here. Even though this is an all the way around design, there's always a little bit of a frontal here. We're focusing on this here for you. I'm just going to get those right into there. And we have a great Woodlands design. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoy the design techniques. Have a great day.